To our target one, it's going to be Lin Ming Ching, a 26 year old. Beat the number one seed in the 1 4 eliminations and uh, won by one point in the semi finals over compatriot Huang. And Wang on target number two. And she has uh, come through qualified in third place with a score of 584 and had good wins over two of her compatriots and Muskan Kana she lost to in the semi-finals by three points the Indian archer so those are the results of the two archers Lynn current uh, world ranking of 316 but she has been as high as 17 back in 2018 and Wang at the moment 110 it has been as high as 47 back in June So here we go. Same scoring format as outdoor compound. 15 arrow contest split over th five ends, and it's going to be one to go first. So two big nines to start off with. You can see that there's a um, an X ring and a ten ring on the target, and a ten ring uh, is meant for recurve archers. So the compound archers have to hit the smallest of the two rings that you can see on the target, which is only two centimeters across, as Glenn mentioned before. There you go. That's so there a good is the first ten one. from. Yes. Uh kissing the line nicely from Lin and now Wang with her last arrow of this first end so she's going to lock in a score of 28 and Lin can grab a one point lead if she can replicate the 10 just missed it on the bottom right target there so it's a tied score after the first end. Chef, you've had an experience in indoor archery. What's the major differences, obviously, of the, in terms of your shooting technique? Is there any major differences? Um, in terms of technique, there's not much of a difference uh, except for the angle that you're shooting in. So um, on outdoor, you obviously have to bridge a longer distance and therefore have to aim a bit higher um, or put your sight a bit lower, uh, consequently where indoor you're it almost feels like if you're coming from the outdoor field indoor it feels like you're aiming uh, lower like you're aiming towards the ground more um, and that kind of messes up your posture if you're not used to it but uh, yeah it's a couple sessions and then and then you don't notice the difference anymore so 28 apiece it is for these two you're watching the bronze medal match in the women's compound and one to go first again in the second end what's interesting to note is that uh, wang has a very short draw length but uh, indoors you want to shoot fat arrows so you can catch the line easier and uh, there's no wind that you have to take into account um, but with her short draw length, she needs to have very long arrows to make them fly properly. So uh, you can see that the front end of the arrow is sticking out, what is it, maybe 10 inches? <laughs> and that's just to make the arrow fly properly. Well, that's the best arrow of the match so far from Lin that time. So now Wang with her last arrow of the second end. Just grab the bottom line. So nice response there from Wang in and with two tens there. And yeah, all her arrows were a bit low, so I'd give the side a couple of clicks maybe, but.
Well, there's nothing in this match so far. Just a point, in fact, with Lynn just missing the 10 with that third arrow. Generally, these matches are close. Yeah, and that's the difference between this compound style of shooting and the recurve uh, matches. That in compound, you carry over your score to the next round, so it's a cumulative, cul sorry, cumulative scoring um, where the recurve matches are set scoring. So if you win a set, you get two points for the set. If you tie, it's one point each. Um, so in compound, you need to be on the money the whole time. You don't want to drop any unnecessary points where with recurve, you can afford to have one bad arrow every once in a while. It's spot on. So it looks like uh, we've got a second shared end between the two archers. And at the moment, we are locked up at 57 points each. So nine arrows to come in this contest. So again, it's Wang first up. That's a Always very good, good arrow. And starting with like a 10, Wang isn't it, Chef? Yeah, Wang has the momentum, in my opinion. She uh, uh, has tightened up her group a bit. Uh, the last end, she had a really nice group, but just a tad low. Um, and now I think she has adjusted her sight, and we should be seeing a lot more tens from now on. And Wang has scored three tens in a row now. Make that four. Yeah, so the only real mishap that we've seen so far from her is the first nine that was on the line of the eight and the nine. And after that, she's pretty much been bang on. Lynn's Radar just slightly off at the moment. Wang can take a decisive lead here. With another 10, but she missed it right that time. But she will have oh, at least a one point advantage after this end. Here's Lynn's last arrow. Oh, yes, that's a good one. That keeps her in the hunt, Chef. Yeah, you just want to be as close as possible to your opponent. Uh, there is uh, the added benefit of shooting second, um, that you know what you have to shoot. But the benefit of shooting first is that you can really put some pressure on your opponent. So uh, uh, the trailing archer always shoots first in a match like this. And uh, yeah, if you're only trailing by one point and you keep shooting tens, then that really stacks up the, uh, the pressure for the opponent. So it looks like Wang's going to have a one-point advantage, 86 to 85, with six arrows left in the contest. So a good battle here between the two Chinese Taipei archers for the bronze medal. Wang looks nice and relaxed, doesn't she? Very important to be enjoying embracing them the pressure almost of the contest so lynn to go first now trailing by one point it looked like a nice and controlled shot and uh, it showed on the target you can really see that both archers they do have a bit of nerve but um, it, yeah, like you said before, you want to embrace it. You want to acknowledge that you're nervous, but not uh, judge, be judgmental about it. You don't want to be like, oh, I'm, I'm too nervous to shoot well. You just want to acknowledge the fact that you're nervous and go with it. Well, Lynn's coming back nicely now. That's back-to-back 10s -back for her in this end. And she finished the previous end with a 10 as well. So all of a sudden... Pressure on Wang here. Now can Lin finish 
with another 10 in this end. And that is a very good set of arrows there for Lin Ming Ching. She's going to have at least a one point buffer heading into the last end. Make that two. Wow, it's going to be two points, isn't it, Chef? Yeah, some great back and forth in this match. It's uh, the in the middle of the match. I really, really felt like the momentum was uh, with Wang, but uh, yeah, it seems like Lin uh, <laughs> could not have it and and uh, wanted to prove me wrong. Well, she responded beautifully, didn't she? So. First arrow of that end for Lynn is actually a nine star, so we're just getting confirmation of that at the moment. It certainly looked like it grabbed the 10 line. So, not confirmed at the moment, but it looks like Lynn's going to take a two point lead into the last end. 115 to 113. confirmation on the board there yes we can't see the score so Wang's got it all to do here so Lin can replicate what she did in the last end she'll have the bronze medal but let's see if she can handle the pressure here and can Wang now finish with a flourish it was a nice and strong shot from her as well. I felt like she knew that was going to go in as soon as the release went off. Well, there's one point gained. So we're back to a one point game with two arrows left each. Ooh. Well, that's a real shame for Wang. It could cost her the bronze medal. Yeah, and consequently, I think that means that Lin has a lot less pressure on her shoulders and can, can shoot these last arrows much more relaxed. So Wang now needs a 10. Do have any chance? She can't get one. It's just a 9. So Lin, just a 7. We'll seal it. Now it's a 9, but it's good enough. So there's the win there for Lin Ming Ching, the 26 year old. She's got the bronze medal against her compatriot Wang Lu Yun, who just uh, saw her standards drop over those last two ends. Just 110 in her last six arrows for Wang, whereas Lin had four. So uh, she came home with a wet sail there, Lin, and has got the bronze medal. Good performance from Lin.